Welcome everyone to this week's energy series. We are Corey, Peyton, and myself, Yaila. And this week we are covering the topic of twin flames. This term is swinging around out there in the spiritual community. So we're going to share how we connect to it, how we see it, how we read it energetically and how it shows up. So Corey, let's start with you. Thank you, Yaila. You ladies are looking lovely today. Mm. Twin flames. It's interesting. There is a lot of twin flame stuff flinging around. And I don't know a whole lot about twin flames. What I do know and what I've uh, heard and tapped into a little bit is that twin flames are one soul that has separated into two. And so it's a mirror reflection of oneself. And so when I started, you know, when I, you know, I looked at it a little bit because it, there is a lot of it out there. And I can see where, yes, there is such a thing as a twin flame. My perspective on it is interesting because I am a twin. I have a twin brother. So I do understand the twin concept. But my, but it's been my experience that with most twins, one is usually the introvert and one is usually the extrovert. Therefore, being the complete opposites of the same soul. Well, twins aren't necessarily the same soul. I know that my twin brother and I are not because we're different sex. But I, I don't believe that regular twins are of the same soul. Could be. Never know. So when it came to twin flames and looking at twin flames for me, I think it's something that I grew up with Cinderella and the prince coming to save me. And that's what a lot of the twin flame energy felt like to me. Yes, we'd all love to have this amazing partner that gets us. And that's what twin flame felt like to me the fairy tale of having your prince charming come or princess you know come and and live happily ever after and one of the big discoveries in my life was to find out that it's not necessarily true however i do know of couples who have been together for a very, very long time and cannot live without one another. Are those twin flames? Maybe. I have heard, a, I heard once about a couple who said they were twin flames and that they were mirrors of one another. And I could, I could feel their energy. That, that, yes, that was true for them. So when it comes to twin flames, I believe that it's out there to be defined for yourselves. Because there are, everything is energy. Energy changes. And we're all individual in our energy. So to define it for yourself, is what I get energetically anyways. So the whole big twin flame thing feels to me, again, like the fairy tales, where we find somebody, our forever love, where you know we sail off into the great lands forever and ever and ever. But I did hear at one point in time, I don't remember where I heard it, was that twin flames come together hot and heavy and they oftentimes will separate from one another 
so that they can work on their own individual journeys. And sometimes they come back together and sometimes they don't. And that sounds like uh, life anyways. So if you are and have a twin flame, would love to hear your comments about it because it's not really one that I know a lot about. I know about being a twin. I could talk a lot about that. Uh, but, uh, you know, being a, um, a twin flame to which my twin is not. But which comes to, to mind actually too, is that it doesn't necessarily have to be the opposite sex. You can have maybe a best friend that's a twin flame. See, I'm not sure about it. But I think we are to define it on our own. That's what I've got on Twin Flames. How about you, Peyton? Thanks, Corey. Yeah, this is a fascinating topic. And the way I look at Twin Flames comes purely from what I have seen in the people that I have worked with that I know who like the term. It is not a term that I personally use. So everything that I know about Twin Flames comes from me observing other people who, the people who love this concept, love this concept. And so for me, it's more, I have been more an observer of the Twin Flame phenomena than a participant only because of the way I tend to see it playing out in people's lives. And so the way Twin Flame has come up in my work is just as a construct that is very attractive to some people. But the way I see it playing out is that it tends to do more harm than good. So I personally am not a big fan of the twin flame concept. And that's only because of the way I see it play out with people. And so one of the ways that I think this whole concept can be a little disempowering is kind of what you were talking about, Corey, this whole ideal of the perfect relationship and there being just one person for us. So the way that I tend to see it in the majority of cases or the majority of people I work with who, who love this concept. And so I always want to work with whatever construct, you know, resonates with someone. And so the way I have seen this play out is once someone puts that label of twin flame on another person, it can tend to be kind of quicksand. It can tend to be a bit of an energy trap because I find that people who resonate with this construct and everything is just a perspective. So the people who love this concept, a lot of times the way I have seen it play out is that it lets people or tempts people to hang on to things that aren't working or to think that there can only be one person in the world out there for them. And so I find that as a label, it can really do more harm than good in people who, who resonate with this idea. Because again, I have seen it in some people cause them to keep going back to dysfunctional relationships because they have decided that that person is their twin flame. And that doesn't mean that it's right or wrong, but once you have that belief, that's what you're going to create and manifest. So I think this as a label can be a little tricky. It's something that I always encourage people, if you love this concept, and I apologize for pouring ice water on it, um, to be very self-honest with how you are using it. And to really question yourself as to whether it is something that is empowering your life. You know, is it that you are in a perfect relationship and the love of your life and you call that person your twin flame? I would have no issue with that application of it. But where for me it gets a little sticky is when people are using it to go back to something that is not energetically aligned, whether that is a just a relationship that has expired 
or whether it is a one-sided relationship or whether it is something that is downright toxic. You know that X that is just always bad news, but you keep going back because you've decided that that is your twin flame. So I think this can backfire on people, but it can also be very beautiful. It all depends on how you are defining things. So I always encourage people who like this concept because I never want to rain on your parade if this is something that resonates with you to just check yourself how you're using it. And are you using it in a way that brings you joy? Or are you using it in a way that brings you pain? And you will know the difference because I think that this whole concept can be a bit of a slippery slope. And another reason that I'm kind of iffy on the whole idea is that it tends to, from what I've seen in people, make people latch on to a single person and disregard everything else out there. And often this comes up for me when people really want a relationship in their life. They want to find that love of their life, but they've decided it can only be one person because they have put this label on someone. And what you do then is you take all the options the universe has to bring you your perfect partner and you narrow it down to one. So this can really be something that shoots people in the foot. And then the other reason that I am not a big fan of the whole twin flame concept is that it can tend to tempt people to feel incomplete, like they are not whole unless they find that perfect person. And I see this a lot in people that, you know, resonate with this idea that they feel there's something missing with them. And whenever I hear this concept, it just feels so outdated to me. We know we are whole, complete, divine beings, and we don't need anyone to complete us. And so for me, that's another way this can be a little bit of quicksand for people, is that either it shuts the door to all of our options, or it just makes us feel like we're not enough. And really, the world does that enough. Do we really need to pile more of that on ourselves? So this is a, a concept that, again, take it if it is something that you love, but be careful with it is always my encouragement with this because it can backfire and cause us to shut the door to beautiful things in our life because we've decided there is only one option. And what we do, we tie the universe's hands when we do that. And not because that is the truth, but only because our belief makes it our truth. So anyway, I say, take it if it resonates with you, leave it if it doesn't, just do so thoughtfully. Be careful with it because this one can go sideways on you. So that's what I have. Yaila, how do you look at this? Yeah, I resonate so much with what you ladies were sharing about your knowledge of twin flames. And we were discussing as a group before we started recording kind of our definition of what is a twin flame. And if you look on the internet, there is so much different information out there. Some of it conflicts with each other. Some of it coincides with each other. I can only speak into how I've learned to connect to energy, connect to um, the different, you know, lifetimes and souls and things like that, that we all have had individually. So rolling back a little bit, when I think of an individual soul, I, the best way I can relate it is we're kind of like the pinky toe or the big toe to the body. Um, our physical body is that to the universe, right? We're just a little piece of it. There's all these other connecting pieces and, you know, you have your, um, your higher self, you have your oversoul that's kind of had these different lifetimes and there's fragments of you out there, whether you think of that, you know, it happens in a linear way or it's happening all at the same time. Um, but you have these different experiences for your own soul. And then we have something that I like to call a soul family. So we've had different lifetimes with, you know, different people in our life where you met someone and it feels like you've known them forever. And I've done energy readings for people. I'm like, oh yeah, you've had several lifetimes with this person and different 
roles are played. You know, sometimes one is the mother, sometimes one is the best friend, sometimes one is the sister, sometimes it's the lover in different lifetimes. And so for me, we have kind of a soul family that we reconnect with in different lifetimes and different experiences. And for me, it always comes down to learning about love. And then we kind of have like an oversoul, right? So a collection of souls that um, we connect with. And when you start to scale back, you know, going from the the toe all the way up to the entire body, if you're using that as um, an example for yourself connecting to other souls, for me, everything goes back to the oneness, right? Where we all come from the one, we all come from source creator, and it's fragmented out, it's split out into all these other levels of experience. Another way to think of that, a cell in your body, you know, there's, it's its own little world. It's connected to, you know, the organ, it's connected to the body, you know, there's like different levels it connects into. So I think of us as human beings in the same way. Ultimately, we end up being the oneness, right? The oneness of everything. We are connected to the creator, all that is universe in my humble opinion. And so when I think of a twin flame, the concept is interesting to me because we're all already one anyway. So <laughs> we're, we're soulmates, we're flames, you know, connected to the bigger whole. Um, I do resonate so much with what the ladies were saying, because what I have seen with people who like to use the term or just even some definitions and shared experiences about being a twin flame, many times it's staying in really rough relationships, you know, and it's kind of, we have this ideal, you know, I grew up, hearing about soulmates or the one, you know, we, we think about there's this perfect person for each of us. And the truth is we have, we're a complete being, you know, we're growing, expanding as a soul and we've had different lifetimes with different people on different levels. And so for me to think of just one person only being the end all be all, it sounds lovely and great when you get to find that one person, but very similar to what Peyton was saying, I feel like it shuts you off to, you know, maybe the journey that your soul is on in this lifetime. And just coming from the theta background, you know, there's different definitions of types of soulmates out there. One of them that really stands out in my mind is um, a karmic relationship, which to me sounds more like how people describe twin flames, where karma is unfinished business. And many times it's unfinished business in harsh, hard challenging lessons that we learn to overcome and learn to find love through these tough situations and really learning love for ourselves. And so when I think of twin flame and the people who love to res resonate with it, it's a beautiful concept, you know, finding someone that is the perfect match for you, the perfect pair for you. For me, I personally like to des describe that as a divine, your divine partner your divine part life partner for this lifetime, right? Um, you know, we kind of have the love of our life and you can look back from the different relationships and see this one was the most prevalent. Some people have that. Some people don't in a different lifetime. They have many soulmates and soulmates don't just come in a romantic way. So when you think of twin flame for yourself, I would take a step back and look to see what is the relationship you're actually wanting to create? Because it really comes down to what are you creating for yourself in this now moment? And are you wanting to create a partnership where you get to grow and expand as a soul and you have that loving support, you have that person you can lean on, you can be the person that they can lean on and you're helping each other grow and expand. Um, you're becoming your highest and best possible self you know, is that what you want? Or are you wanting a relationship where there's the chaser and the runner? I always hear that in Twin Flames where it's like, do you always want to be chasing to have someone finally love you? To me, that just feels like a big no. Um, that's not the relationships I'm trying to create. So, you know, whatever term you resonate with, Twin Flame is, you know, it's a, it can be a beautiful term as far as like, this is my twin. They show up just as, um, very similar to I, you know, they come with love, that unconditional love. They help me grow. Um, they help me become the best I can. They are that clear sounding board of, you know, just an honest feedback of when I'm thinking of them and they're thinking of me, we're thinking of each other in our highest and best good and trying to do our best, you know, and showing up to be that person that's very loving, very healthy, just like your soulmate, you know, it's that person that just really brings out the best in you. 
Or is it that karmic relationship where <laughs> you are going through these horrible processes together and you're, you know, I've seen those relationships. I've had some of my own experience where you kind of bring out the worst in each other. And there's a lot of lessons in that too, right? Everybody serves a purpose. We, you know, people who show up in your life are there for a reason. And sometimes they're a lesson and sometimes they are for longevity. So check in for yourself as far as what you're truly looking for. I think that's the biggest piece of it um, versus the actual term. I'm if you know me, I'm someone who I don't really resonate with a lot of labels, period. But um, Twin Flame is a tricky one because it can really get people locked into my definition of karmic relationships where you are not really supported. You are putting up with things that you normally wouldn't put up with because you thought you had this really strong um, chemistry and chemical reaction to someone. So it can be very, very tricky. So check your intention first and foremost is my always go to ladies, anything else you want to add to twin flames? <laughs> I just want to second what you said, Yaila, about kar karmic bonds, because I see that a lot in people who resonate with this concept that it's almost like a trauma bond where they have a connection through a shared trauma and they're playing out this relationship that they can't ever get quite on the same page. And so it ends up being a source of complete distress so it can be something that, you know, it's, it's tapping into something other than that divine partner that you want to have, but you're connected for other either karmic reasons or you resonate with each other's traumas and it can cause people because that's a very deep connection too, just not necessarily one that you want. So yeah, that's one of the ones that can, can really come into play. I think with this, this concept is it's a connection based on something that's not in alignment instead of being what you were trying to create in your life. Yeah, absolutely. Corey, you want to add anything else to it? No. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us talking about twin flames. And um, just like Corey was asking, what is your experience as a twin flame? Do you feel like you've met yours? Are you looking for yours? How do you resonate with the actual term? You know, because obviously if there's people out there who like to resonate with that term and I would love to hear, you know, what it really means for you. I think we all would. So thank you again for watching. We will see you next week. Be sure to like, share, comment, and we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.